All right, I'm in Sacacomi, Quebec for the 4Motion all-wheel drive program. Thanks to Volkswagen, all of their all-wheel drive vehicles are here. And this is the one a lot of enthusiasts will be excited about. It's the Golf R. And one of the main reasons people choose the Golf R over the GTI is because of all-wheel drive. Now, we've had a chance to drive the all-track, that's the wagon variant, and we've had the Tiguan and the Atlas, and of course this R. And I gotta tell you, the R is a bit of a handful in some situations because of a few things. Shorter wheelbase, wider tires, and more power. If you get it on some snow, it absolutely is a riot to drive, but when you get it on ice, it, it seems to be less forgiving than the all track, but it's a hell of a lot of fun. Now, I did mention power, so 292 horsepower and 280 pound-feet of torque, and that's one of the differences with the Golf R over the other units. This all-wheel drive or four-motion system has the ability to switch up to 265 pound-feet of torque to the rear wheels. So cars that have less than that, that's 100% of the power. Cars with over that, like this R, it sends that proportion. 265 pound-feet of torque can go to the back. Anything else stays with the front wheels. But that's still amazing. When you see it driving in the snow and you see the rear wheels being activated, and the balance that it helps create, it really is noticeable for sure. But in those situations where you get it absolutely right, and the balance, and the power, and you get to drift in the snow, <laughs> that's why we're here, to have some fun. It sure is great. I also find that the stability and traction control, even though you can technically switch it off, it is never fully off, okay? It is always here, but it isn't as intrusive with this car as some of the utility vehicles. And I think that's because this car is lower to the ground and more stable, where the utilities are more top heavy and have the potential for, the potential, not saying they're going to, but the potential for rollovers, which is maybe why they make uh, the system more aggressive with utilities and not with this sporty hatch. So there you go, a couple of laps around the uh, track here at Sakakomi in the Golf R. Wonderful machine, uh, but it's interesting. You know, you'd think it'd be the top dog in these situations, in these conditions, it isn't. It's a hell of a lot of fun to drive, but for me the all track was a surprise.